Hi, this video is going to be about quantitative genetics and dehybrid cross. And here is a problem. Two pure lines of corn have mean comb lengths of 9 and 3 inches respectively. The polygenes involved in this trait all exhibit additive gene action. And question is, if only two segregating loci contribute to the comb lengths and we represent the parental cross as uh, homozygous dominant for both genes, for 9 average complaints and uh, crossed with homozygous recessive for both genes for 3 inch average, the fraction of the F2 expected to be uh, 4 point inch is, and here is the 5 answers to choose from. If you know how to solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So I want to start my explanation with uh, a cross of two parental uh, genotypes. And our two parental genotypes would be one that is homozygous dominant for the trait for both genes. So capital A, capital A and capital B, capital B. And we cross it with uh, another genotype that is homozygous recessive for both genes. And genotype is small a, small a, and small b, small b. And as a result of such a cross would be genotype of the F1 generation, uh, capital A, small a, and capital B, small b. So all the F1 generation going to be uniform genetically and um, now so this is going to be parent 1 and this is going to be parent 2 so now uh, let's uh, think about uh, if this uh, parent 1 9 inches so what uh, additive uh, alleles would be here. So uh, what we have to do, we have just divide 9 by 4 alleles. So we have 4 alleles here that uh, uh, when we add them together mean uh, 9 inches comp. So that give us that each allele would be 2.25 inches. So uh, when we have 4 alleles, uh, so together they would give us uh, 9 inches. And when we have a parent who is uh, 3 inches, that means that each allele here would give us 0 0.75 inches. So together 4 alleles would give us uh, 3 inches. So uh, if we add these numbers, we are going to get for parent 2 3 inches and for parent 1 9 inches. So that means that uh, each dominant allele give us 2.25 inches and each uh, recessive allele give us uh, 0 0.25. 75 inches. So now we can uh, find uh, what is the length complex in the F1 generation. So uh, dominant allele A would be 2.25, uh, recessive allele would be 0 0.75, and capital B allele would be 2.25, and recessive allele B would be 0 0.75. So uh, complaints for the F1 generation would be 6. And uh, we asked uh, to find what is the percentage in uh, of uh, what is the fraction in F2 generation would be genotype that would give us uh, 4.5 inches comp. So uh, just uh, what we have to do right now, 
we have to find uh, what kind of genotypes might produce uh, this plants. So um, this is easy to predict that the only one combination that is possible would be um, two, oh, sorry, one dominant allele that is going to be 2.25 and three uh, recessive alleles that is going to be 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75. So as you see, uh, such genotype 1 dominant allele plus 3 recessive allele would give us together a comp length of the 4.5 inches. So uh, now we have to find how many uh, combinations exist and let's uh, do simple calculations so uh, the first one would be uh, for example capital A small a small b small b so one dominant allele and three recessive alleles this is combination number one another combination uh, could be can be small a capital A and small b, small b. Once again, we have three recessive allele and one dominant allele. Another combination could be small a, small a and capital B, small b. And the last combination can be this one. So total number of combinations possible would be four. So in uh, all four combinations, we have one dominant allele and three recessive alleles. So uh, now we have to find uh, how many total number of different uh, combinations is possible for F2 generation. How we are going to find it? It's very easy. So everything we have to do, we just have to find uh, uh, how many combinations uh, or how many different gametes um, we can find in F2 generation. So once again, here is the genotype of our F1 generation, that is capital A, small a, and capital B, small b. We have to self-cross or self-pollinate if it is uh, uh, plants, as in our example. So we have to self-pollinate, so the genotype of the second parent would be the same. And this is going to be parent 1, and this is going to be parent 2. So, um, on the example of the parent 1, I would show you how many different gametes uh, we can uh, get uh, here. So the first uh, combination would be capital A and capital B. So this would be first combination, capital A and capital B. Second combination can be uh, capital A and small b. So capital A and small b. And next combination can be uh, small a and capital B, so small a and capital B, and the last combination can be small a and small b, so small a and small b. And uh, because the genotype of the parent two is the same, so the same gametes uh, this parent would produce. So gametes is just sex cells, uh, like sperm, an egg cell and because uh, here we see uh, organism is deployed for each gene we have two alleles but in gametes only one of the alleles we can find so whether it can be dominant allele A or recessive allele A plus whether dominant allele B 
or recessive allele B. So as you see, four combinations are possible. So in order to build a Punnett square and find all the combinations possible, we just have to put on the side the same um, genotype of the gamut. So uh, this is going to be capital A, capital B here, capital A, small b here, small a, and capital B here, and small a, small b here. Now we just have to draw Punnett square and we are going to get 16 cells because we have to cross uh, 4 by 4 uh, uh, genotypes of the gametes. So total number of combinations going to be 16. So here in the first cell we would have uh, capital A from one parent and capital A from the second parent. So capital A from uh, this parent, for example this can be parent 1 and this genotype or gametes possible for the parent 2. So uh, and uh, here we would have uh, from this parent capital B and from this parent also capital B. So capital B, capital B go here. And here in the second cell we have capital A, capital A and small b, capital B. Here we have small a, capital A and capital B, capital B. Small a, capital A, small b and capital B. So, so far, as you see, we don't have genotype with one dominant allele and three recessive alleles. So, let's proceed. Here we would have capital A, capital A and capital B, small b. Here we would have capital A, capital A and small b, small b. And here we would have small a, capital A, capital B, small b. And here we would have small a capital A and small b small b. So this is going to be our first genotype that meets our requirements. Three recessive allele and one dominant allele. Let's proceed. So here we would have capital A small a and capital B capital B, capital A small a and small b capital B and here we would have small a small a and capital B capital B and small a small a here and small b capital B here. So this is going to be second genotype that meets our requirements and here we would have capital A small a and capital B small b capital A small a and small b small b. This is our third genotype that meets our requirements and here we would have small a small a and capital B small b. Once again these genotypes meet our requirements and here we would have small a small a and small b small b. So as you see, uh, here we have square with 16 cells and 4 out of 16 uh, would meet our requirements and would make uh, one of these genotypes that is 4, 4 out of 16. So let's uh, take a look at our problem. And as you see, we don't have such an answer here, so we can cross answer, cross out answer A, answer B, answer C, and answer D, and the only correct answer would be answer E, none of the above. Because, as you remember, the fractions that we got were 4 out of 16, that is also if we reduce numbers would be 1 out of 4 
another possible answer could be uh, 0 0.25 on the scale between 0 and 1 and on the scale between 0 and 100% the answer could be 25% so all these answers would be correct and also I just want to remind you that you can use express method in order to solve this problem you just have to find uh, this for combinations that combined together uh, each combination combined all these alleles together would give us a comp length of 4.5 inches so uh, for total combinations possible and also you may just remember that when we cross two dehybrid parents so dehybrid means heterozygous for each gene and uh, heterozygous for each locus so the total number of combinations would be 16 so as long as we have found that four combinations is possible and that the total number of combinations possible would be 16 and 4 out of them would meet our requirements you can instantly give an answer that this is going to be uh, 4 out of 16 or 1 quarter or any of this answer that is going to be the same and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.